All right, we have a, a Ridgewood Model 2000 hooked up here, which is an 80 gallon. Um, great little stove, um, kind of fresh to this company. He just came out with this model uh, about a month ago. Got a good looking stove. This one is black because um, he made it for me. Um, and he just, this is what color he ended up using, which works out good because then the door doesn't turn all black because it's already black. Um, but yeah, I'm a dealer up here in northern Michigan. Um, you may have seen me on some other videos. This is, I think, the, well, this is the second boiler I've had hooked up to this house this year. Um, I think the fourth one in the past couple years, but I just like to try different ones out. Um, I owned one of these previously in the past. That was the, the 6000 model, which is a little bigger unit. Um, great stove. That's why I got into dealing these a little while back. Um, great price, great quality for, for the money, really. I mean, it's a simple stove. Um, this is rated for up to 2,000 square feet. Now I like to stretch the means and, and push it a little bit just to see what it can do. That's kind of why I bought one to hook up to here. But pretty much where all that snow's melted on there, um, you know, you get six inches of snow within a couple of days, it's pretty much melted. I mean, throughout the winter. So the insulation, I mean, it's not usually that bad. There's usually a little more snow, but it's getting late in the, the year here. So, um, probably about 25 degrees out right now. Um, but yeah, um, I, I don't think there's a one video on Ridgewood stoves on here, an actual boiler video. So I figured I'd throw one on here. But yeah, the little uh, 80 gallon Model 2000 from RidgewoodStoves.net. Um, and great little stove. I mean, I've, I've been, uh, I think I've had it hooked up for a little over a month now. Um, I was burning some pine that I had piled up uh, and it's all buried in the snow, but I had a bunch stacked um, when I switched over from my last stove. It was getting down to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit here, which is uncommon, and it was doing it multiple days in a row. Um, this thing kept up great. With this house, as big as it is, it's 2,100 square foot, four bedroom, two bath, um, three kids using the hot water, my wife, myself. Um, yeah, I mean, I keep it at 73. We do use a lot of hot water between laundry, dishes, baths, showers, you know, everything. And this, when it was negative 25 degrees, I'd come out in the morning. Um, I was getting about eight hours straight out of it. And you can't fit very much because it's a, you know, it's, it's for a smaller application. But I just wanted to push its luck. You know, I figured with my water usage and everything, I'm probably sitting around more like 3,000 square foot. Oh, there we go. She just opened up, called for heat. I got it set on a seven degree diff. So it, it goes up to 185 just because it's so small in my house you know the furnace comes on and, it, and it water you know it calls for such a demand at once so it i try to do that so it gets recovered by the time it gets down to 172 or so you know it'll start taking back off and go up and then it it'll recover once it fires up it'll recover with the furnace running on both zones upstairs and down hot water running full bore um and it'll and once it's raging in there i mean it'll it'll just go up and temp you know within a few minutes it'll shut off but it does you know when it sits dormant for a while it'll take a few minutes because it is a natural draft um which some people are you know have different opinions about it i think it's a great working system simple not much to go wrong um you know it uses less electricity you don't got to run a blower just the power to the solenoid under that little house looking thing on the door there um Works great. Um, those who don't know it, all the central boilers, the classic series, those as well are all just natural draft. They don't have any blowers, and they, you know, you see those things everywhere just due to, you know, advertisement over time is why they're such a big company. But great stoves. These are also great stoves, um, just a lot better price. And like I said, I've had this one um, just as a trial thing for about the past month. Um, got a 30 inch diameter firebox i don't know i put wood in it this morning it's i don't even know what time it's i think six o'clock in the, in the evening when it's 20s 30 out here i've been getting 12 hours pretty consistent with uh i just recently i've been cutting a 24 inch long and i got into this little tarp here pieces of ash splitting them up you know to, nothing tremendously big but decent sized pieces i finally got some more stuff dumped over here but um but yeah Great little stove. The door's 18 by 18. 
Um, I mean, there's no problem throwing 24 inch logs in there. I mean, it's I think 37 inches deep is what he calls it um, to the back of the dome. Um, works great. Another reason I love these is because they hold an ash bed so well. Um, even when this goes out and the water temp, you know, drops down to you know whatever. If you're not, you know, uh, don't get a chance to put wood in or something, you're gone. Um, you can stick a shovel in there 24 hours later and turn the stuff over and it's and it's still going. I'll go ahead and shut the door. Um, but yeah, I mean it's uh, got the double latch system here, real simple. Um, up under here is a little solenoid that picks up the the little damper door, and that's pretty much it. Um, real simple setup. Um, little float or uh, not float, but a water meter there. You can see where the water is right there. Um, Nice digital aqua stat. You can see like my set point 185. You can change all the electronics. It's at 175 right now. And once that gets ripped in there, and I didn't put any more wood in, it's a lot of good coals. If you know stirred around a little, probably be good for a few more hours at least, even with the oversized heating area that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, great little stoves. Um, like I said, they just pretty much came out with these this model like a year ago, but he's been in business now for oh five six years anyway. He's been dealing a lot of the the six thousand models, which is a three to four thousand square foot range stove. This one's rated up to two thousand. You know, I'd recommend it for you know around the fifteen sixteen hundred you know um, range to be able to get those twelve hour burn times. But for the money, um, starts at twenty seven ninety nine is the price on this little guy. So I mean, you can't really. You can't really argue too much with, you know, that's a good quality, um, sturdy built, 3 8 firebox um, for the money. Um, the next model up is the 6,000, is 100 and, 160 gallons, um, I do believe, and those are 38.99. Um, so still a great price for a stove that will heat up to 4,000, you know, 3,500, 4,000 square feet. But yeah, I'm um, sorry I kind of drugged the video out a little bit, but I just... I typed in Ridgewood on there, you know, because I'm always on YouTube looking at different videos and I'm always into biomat, you know, different uh, different setups and stuff, so i probably seen every video on there, but I, I typed in Ridgewood and haven't seen really any, um, so thought I'd throw one on there. I'll, I'll probably be swapping out stoves. I don't know what I'll have next, but um, I don't know if I'll put the next one bigger. Or, um, he's got a monster one he heats his shop with him thinking about getting but i don't know yet um we'll see but anyways i guess till next time i'll try to keep updated if i get any new stoves i'll update it and put it on there for you guys to check out but there you go any questions too i sell these i'm in northern michigan up up by traverse city area um and you can get a hold of me um you can actually go to dpmservices.com um, actually dpmservicesllc.com and you can check me out there um, got these brand boilers and I got another brand on there uh, that I also sell nature's comfort but these ones I'm trying to meet kind of a price range for a you know good quality for the money um, simple to run nothing really to go wrong you know they're real simple stove um, so yeah I guess any questions get a hold of me you can also check out ridgewoodstoves.net to look at these things too Sounds good, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you again. Thanks.